Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Next Goal Wins. Today we're talking about England against San Marino which is on tomorrow night. Yeah then, England against San Marino tomorrow night. I mean, we're going to win the game. Let's not beat around the bush. If we don't win the game, it's the biggest embarrassment in English football. So, what will a win do for us? A win qualifies us. I know a few people, reports been going around saying a win, we need to win and Slovakia needs to fail to beat Switzerland. But that's not the case. I mean, we're on 18 points now. We win, we get to 21. Irrespective of the Slovakia-Switzerland result, then the maximum those two teams can get to is 21 points. They get to 21, we'll be on 21 if we lose our last three games but beat San Marino. We'll on head-to-head -head in like a three-way group. We'll have beaten Switzerland once and then if we obviously would have to lose to them to end on 21. And we'll have beaten Slovenia twice. So we'd have nine points out of those head-to-heads and the best Slovenia could get is six and Switzerland three. So we would definitely, definitely, definitely qualify. By beating San Marino, we'll qualify for the Euros, which obviously is what the whole qualification process is about, getting to the Euros. And the team who stand in our way, obviously, are the famous minnows of San Marino. Down in 193rd place in the world rankings, only ever winning one game, that was 11 years ago, against Liechtenstein at home, 1-0. A famous night in San Marino. If you can find it, I might leave a link down below in the description. There's a video of, of them beating it, uh, beating them on YouTube uh, of San Marino beating Liechtenstein. The, the scenes are like they've won the World Cup. It's incredible. But, you know, we have conceded to San Marino before at home, famously, under, under Graham Taylor. Not a game we really want to talk about, but, you know, since then, it, it, it's easy wins. 5-0, 6-0, 7-0, 8-0. More intriguingly of a storyline, not how much we beat him by or if we beat him will be if Wayne Rooney can get two goals which means he'll become the all-time leading England goal scorer um, I think it'll be embarrassing really if he doesn't do it he's got to do it against San Marino a team who really you should be scoring two goals against look at Ronaldo two goals Lewandowski two goals Messi would score two goals people like I would all score two goals against San Marino Thomas Muller three goals four goals so you know he has to do it t tomorrow night. It's a big game for him because he can break this this long-standing record. There's been a lot of talk this week as if if he is a one of the great legends of, of the England game. And obviously, if he breaks the all-time goal scoring, Charlton he's going to be put up there. But for me, he's not as good as Charlton, who leads the list, or Lineker, who's second. I mean, Lineker did it at a World Cup winning the Golden Boot. Uh, obviously, Charlton did it at a World Cup winning a World Cup. So Rooney hasn't done it for me when it's mad. Yes, he's qualified us a lot of times. His goals in qualification have been massive. I mean, he's got five in this campaign so far. Only Welbeck's got more with six. So, yes, he has scored a lot of goals that have got us to campaigns. But for me, he has really got to do better. He's got to score goals when it matters in a World Championship, like a World Cup or a European Championship. So, next year is probably going to be his last real opportunity of a peak of his career. Obviously, when it gets to, to the next World Cup, he's going to be, what, 33-ish. So, this is kind of the peak of his career ending soon. And this Euro is an opportunity for him to... Cement himself. If we get there, we're going to get there tomorrow night, irrespective of any results. I mean, we are going to beat San Marino away. So, we're going to get there, and he's got to perform when we get there. For Hodgson, then, what team does he pick? I think he's got to pick a team tomorrow who he thinks is his best team to start. So, you know, the Roonies will play, people like that will play. And then from then on, once qualification sorted, I think really should just uh, just open the taps and let Jamie Vardy's get a run out. Let your Shelby's run the, run the middle of a park. Let all these players play who... Just to see what they're like, because it doesn't matter. We'll have qualified. It doesn't matter what results we get. And I still think our second team will be strong enough to beat Estonia, for example. So I still I just open up the taps, let the floodgates open and play those players and see what happens. Because you're never going to know what they're like in an England chef. You only give them 10, 12 minutes at the end of a game. You need to see what they're like playing the full 90 minutes. San Marino, the team, you know, is famous for a lot of their team aren't professionals. Only one professional likely to start for them tomorrow night. And... For San Marino, really, it's just a story of qualification for them. That a point in qualification is an amazing return. I mean, yes, this year they got the point. They drew at home with Estonia early in the campaign. And that was massive for them to actually get a point. They've only drawn a handful of games in their actual history. I mean, they've played over 100 games, conceded 400-odd goals, and only scored 16 goals. Their top goal scorer actually being someone who's got eight goals. So, you know, he's a bit of a predator, really, for San Marino, scoring that many goals. And San Marino don't, don't expect to win or don't expect to do anything. As we always know when we play San Marino, they'll put two banks of five in front of a goalkeeper and just try and frustrate you for as long as possible until you score. Sometimes it takes two minutes, sometimes it takes 25 minutes, but you know eventually you're going to break them down. And once you break them down at one, two, three, then really they kind of pack it in and you get five, six, seven, eight. Obviously we beat them five nil earlier in this campaign at home at Wembley. Tomorrow I'm sure will be 
kind of the same result. I think England never thrash teams like Germany do, 13 nils and etc. Because we're not that clinical when we get there. We kind of put our foot off the pedal. But I don't, I don't think we can complain if we do beat them. Whatever the score is tomorrow, 5, 4, 6. Whatever the score is, I think we'll be happy. Um, what does it mean then for the other teams? I think Switzerland will beat Slovenia tomorrow night. And I think they will eventually qualify with us. I think Switzerland are too strong to lose to Slovenia tomorrow night or even draw against them. I think they'll beat them. We know they've got some top quality players. Shakiri, Inla obviously plays for Leicester now. They've got some really high quality players in that in that team and I'm sure they'll be expecting to, to win that game and almost secure their, their qualification. Let's talk about a few games that happened last night. Quickly, obviously Wales won. Wales won away to Cyprus, 1-0. Gareth Bale, who else? With his stupid haircut now, but he can still score goals. An absolute bullet header to send Wales pretty much through to the European Championships now. They just need one more win. That's all they need. They can get it on Sunday, I think it is. No, Tuesday maybe. <laughs> Wherever they play next. They can get it then when they play at home and qualify outright for the European Championships. So their first major tournament since 1958 and their first major tournament in general. And really it is a golden generation for Wales. They've got a Ramsey, they've got Bale, etc, etc. So if they don't qualify now, they're going to be hugely disappointed. Back to England, though, for the final word. I think the score's going to be 6-0. I think it's going to be 6 now. I expect Rooney to break the record tomorrow night. I think if there's any free-kick penalty, we're going to let him have it. And then away from that, I think he should be more than capable of scoring two goals in open play. Despite not rating him as much as other people, I still think he should be capable of scoring two goals. Away from that, I'd like to see Shelby start. Shelby's a player I rate, and I'd like to see him start because I don't think there's many better central midfielders in the country at the moment, especially when, I don't know, Jason Punchin maybe could have had a shout in the squad, but especially on Premier League form, there aren't any real central midfielders who are English who, who could stake a claim to play above him. I imagine it's going to be, like I said, the strongest team. Sterling will play, the big boys will play, Hart will play from the start with nothing to do. We could take a book with him against San Marino, but it's a game we have to win. We will win. We'll qualify for European Championships. It's been, what, now? It'll be eight years... Basically, since we failed to qualify under McLaren, all that in the past, we've uh, qualified for them all before, and qualifying for us seems to be really easy, but how nice it'll be for as us as England fans to not have to worry about the last few games of qualification. We'll have it all wrapped up with three games to spare. Anyway, that's all for this video. Please leave a like on the video if you like the layout and everything and what I've talked about in the video. Please comment down below telling me who you support internationally and what you think about the England game and any other game, irrespective of who's playing. And please subscribe to me, as always. I'll see you in the next one.